Rebecca, welcome back to Akoya. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cute little rainbow illustration in Silhouette Studio. First thing we're going to do is grab our ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. I'm going to hold down Control and Shift so it makes a perfect circle coming out from my central point. When I have my ellipse about the size I want, I'm going to go into the scale tool, make sure lock aspect is clicked, make it 8 inches. I'm going to go to the line color tool and give it no line color and go to the fill color window and make it red. Now I'm going to hold the control button and press C for copy and F for paste in front. Fill this with orange. Go to my scale window and make this seven and a half inches. Now to make it go a little bit faster, I'm going to grab both, do the control C. Control F again, grab a corner, hold Alt and Shift so that it scales down right to the center. And we want the outside one to be seven inches wide. So it's a little bit bigger, so we'll just go to the scale window and grab that. Make it seven inches because lock aspect ratio became unchecked. And this one we're gonna make 6.5 inches. Again, I'm gonna select all of them. Control C, Control F, scale it down. Forgot to hold Alt, Alt Shift, scale it down. And we will want the outside circle to be six inches. Lock aspect ratio, six inches. The one just inside that one, we will want to be five and a half inches. So each of these is a half inch smaller than the circle before it, 5 inches, 4.5 inches. All right, now we have enough circles to make our rainbow. We're going to grab that um, third one, go to the fill color window and make it yellow. Make this one green, blue. Indigo, violet, and then I'm going to make this one white. Now I'm going to select them all again. I'm going to go to the align window and center them all because a couple got nudged in the process. I'm going to grab, just click and drag to grab all except the white one, and I'm going to group them. Now I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm going to make the rectangle four inches high because that is half the height of our outermost circle. And I'm going to select, um, I'm going to click and drag to select both the rectangle and our rainbow colors. Go back to the align window and align to the bottom. Now, if this had been lower and I clicked them and aligned to bottom, it will move the rainbow down. So, whichever one is lower is where it registers everything to the bottom. So you want to make sure that your um, rectangle is going to be higher up than your rainbow. Also you want to make sure that it goes a little bit past each edge of your rainbow. Now I'm going to fill my rectangle with white and I'm going to grab that white circle and I'm going to weld those two. Now I'm going to drag and select both um, the rainbow group and the white shape. I'm going to go to object, modify, subtract, and I have, I'm going to ungroup these so you guys can see. Now we have these shapes that overlap. Make sure that's grouped again. And a transparent middle because before we had a white circle there but now we can overlap it with other things. So to make our little clouds, we're going to get an ellipse tool again. We're going to hold Alt and Shift to make a circle. They don't have to be perfect circles, but that's just what we're going to do right now. We're going to give it a light gray fill color and no line color. And then we're going to press Control Copy or Control C and Control F. And we're going to fill that top one with white. Whoops, that's the line color. Go to the fill color and fill it with white. And then I'm going to grab one of the corners and just drag it up so that there's a little bit of a shadow here. I'm going to select those guys, group it, 
control C and control V this time because it doesn't need to be on top. And then I'm gonna scale this one around and control C and control V. Whoops, didn't paste that time. Control C, control V. Scale that one around too. And then I can just click, hold shift and click these guys. Control copy, control V. And then I can move this set around a little bit. I can squish them down some or rotate them so the shape or the shadows are in different positions so that they're not just like this one over here. Get some variation in our cloud size and shape. And go to our cut settings and make sure that we have cut edge set. If you just have it set on cut, it's not active. Then you're going to get every single shape cutting out. So we want to make sure that it's cutting the edge because we're going to use these for like stickers or something. Oops, I dropped those. Now we're going to drag and click on everything and group it so that we can move it, scale it, twist it, turn it, and it sticks together and it stays a rainbow. Once you have the rainbow making process down, you can just ungroup all of your shapes until your colors are selectable individually. And I'm going to select every other one, and then you can go ahead and make your rainbow look any way you like. That's it guys, I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any other tips, feel free to leave them in the comments so that they will help other people too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.